I mean, just look at the imagery here. The Prime version has 100 impact. Not too bad. It is a vast improvement over the standard Estilla, which has 70. And again, granted, it has more status. It goes from 33 to 37. Oh, 17% crit chance. Does go up to 21, which makes it slightly better. Again, uh, the Estilla Prime is a mastery rank 14. The normal Estilla is a 10. As you would expect, all of these are a vast improvement over the standard one. But they've kept the accuracy, the fire rate. The magazine is twice the size. You can see it's going from 16 all the way up to 24. It even has the radial attack does more. It's gone from 42 and 78 to 49 and 91. So it's doing more damage, but like everything else, Prime related, it's great because if they didn't, it would suck. More importantly, it looks better. And all Prime should have more damage anyway. With its receiver dropping as the common drop from the Axie N7, then the Lith A4 holds the barrel. The Meso T5 holds the stock, which leaves the Neo uh, T4, I do believe it was, that has the actual blueprint to put all of these parts together and actually build this thing. I mean, it's so much more obvious when you have it equipped and then you put the Prime one on. It's bigger, it's better, it f doesn't have red in it anyway. More importantly, it comes with three polarities, two Vs and a dash. And for what is basically a fully auto shotgun, this thing didn't really disappoint too much. Being a shotgun, there's obviously only certain mods you can put on there. Primed point blank is a given. Multi-shot isn't needed as much. I know people are going to turn around and say, well, why? Um, it only shoots one round, a giant slug of glass. It doesn't really have great multi-shot. Hence, it doesn't have stats that have multi-shot, it just has damage. So, yes, multi-shot will work, but you're probably better throwing some dual stat elemental mods or normal elemental mods and just increasing the damage rather than trying to increase the crit using things like Blunderbuss or Primed Ravage. Blunderbuss being crit chance, Primed Ravage being crit damage. You can put them on there, but... Yeah, this thing only went to about 40% crit chance, but it will go over 100% on the status. So, build it for status, build it for crit, completely up to you. This thing still works either way. It does start to suffer when enemies get into the high 70s, I did find. But that's because this is a shotgun that really this would have... It would be so much better as a rifle. Simply because... It doesn't fire multiple rounds, so the damage isn't per pellet, it's per shot. Hence, it's kind of a full auto, so you can just shoot many of them. The multi-shot kind of comes into play with the radial attack once the glass pellet hits something and explodes, creating the radial attack that isn't extremely noticeable because it only has a range of 2.4, but... It still works just as well, as long as you remember to hit your targets with this, and also remember it's a shotgun, it does have a fairly limited range, though a fall off of 30 to 60 meant that this thing works kind of mid to long range, instead of a normal shotgun that is close to mid range, which makes it a lot more usable for a lot of different situations. This is another one of those... Well, a Riven would obviously go really well with this, but I ain't touching builds for Prime Weapons anymore simply because, let's be honest, everybody has the specific build that they will use for different things, and it's a shotgun anyway. Shotgun mods are limited in how many there is anyway. You've basically got the damage mods, ammo mods, crit mods, status mods. It's not like there's a lot of special mods. I was tempted on trying out the... What was it? The lock and load, which increases the magazine when it's holstered, but I don't kind of swap between the two that much to justify putting something like that on there. So, Vigilant Armaments, and I always forget the name of the multi-shot mod for this. Hell's Chamber. Um, 
yeah, it will increase the multi-shot. It does increase the stats of it, of how it, at least on paper, the look. But, yeah, it's only shooting one thing at a time. It may shoot a second one with something like Hell's Chamber in there because it's 120% multi-shot. But it just depends how you use your shotguns as to how you build this. You build it for multi-shot or build it for just total, straight-up damage. Completely up to you, but... It wasn't as big of a disappointment as I expected, considering how good the hammer actually is, being a slash-based hammer. It just... This whole thing has kind of got me slightly annoyed due to... I'm going to call it mechanical issues. That have meant I've done this video several times, and it just... the uh, oh, Catastrophic failure of biblical proportions is the best way I can put it. <laughs> I'm still playing with this thing. I will not be formering it again, I've only done it once, but Prime Weapons don't need a lot of former spent on them, because with one former spent on this, it has four polarities. That is, half of the available slots have polarities to them. Going past that, only if you have things like Rivens, because yes, this is good for day-to-day -day running, for things like the Steel Path, it goes on the shelf with the rest of the weapons and you take your more powerful things anyway. Suspending the former on this might not be worth it. I would say save the former and put them in the Volnus Prime. Still torn if I should take that video down and completely redo it because just... Ugh. The build was wrong. The footage was jumpy because I suffered hard drive death and basically that entire video was pathetic is the best way that I can put it. But I think we'll leave this off here for now. I'm not formering it again. I'm still leaving it equipped because it is a lot of fun to use this thing, and I do like playing with the shotties every now and then anyway. But for now, until I can get a ribbon for it, and that doesn't mean I'm going to buy a ribbon for it, by the way. Thank you to all those who offered for the Volnus. There was a few people who have offered to sell me ribbons. as I, I want to try and get one first before I cave and buy one. I don't have any melee ribbons at the moment, so that's kind of on the back burner, but when you've got a ribbon for this, yes two, former, maybe three at most is all you will ever need to spend on it because it's a shotgun. Shotgun mods are limited. There isn't a great deal of them, sadly. Considering it shoots one round, I think it may have fallen just that little bit better into a category like a special weapon, like the Ogress, like a launcher, rather than a shotgun because over on rifle side of things, there's a lot more mods that would have made this thing a ton better. But anyway, I think we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.